Well, hello, Internet. In the previous presentation, I covered uh, basically how to style just about everything in cascading style sheets. That was a three-part video, kind of long, but it was a lot of information to get through. Today, I'm going to cover the box element. CSS treats everything as if it was a box, and every box has the following properties. You have, of course, your content area, which holds all of your content, including text, images, and anything else you put in there. Then you have your padding area. The padding area is, it lies between the content area and your actual border. So if I had padding here, and this was my content area, as we have right here, this would be a content, and then you have padding, then you have your border, which is an optional line that lies between your padding and your margin. And your margin would be whatever you would define right here outside of your box. Here I'm going to give you a whole bunch of examples of different types of boxes and how to edit them. This is just a simple box design. You can see here inside the style tag I defined this and gave it the name box element 1. Gave it a border color of black which you can see there. Border style being solid. Border width being 1.5 pixels. Background color gray. Background image. URL and then the location of the image I wanted to use in my background. I chose to not repeat it, that's why you only see it once. I chose to put it in the top left hand corner, which is where it is. I defined a line height, I defined the font I wanted to use, the font style, italic, so you can see that. I defined a margin of 25 pixels, that's why we have a margin here. And then I defined padding of 20 pixels, that's why we have more space here then we have actual content. And that's a nice easy box design. You can also define your border color, of course. You can define border style, border width, background color, background images, background repeat, background position, line height, fam uh, font family, font style, margins, padding. Also, you can use any of the additional text properties for editing the information in the box. And you can also edit the sides of the box individually with properties. That would include padding, margin, border width, border style, border color, so forth and so on. You would do that by defining if you wanted your border, for example, the top border to be a specific style, you would define it as border, top, style. If you wanted to define the right side of your box, you would define that as border, dash, right, dash, style, left, and bottom are all options. It's a completely crazy box. I basically just throw every gaudy thing I could find into this. You can see I defined the border color as yellow, border top color as fuchsia, border style as double, and just to draw emphasis to this, you can see I'm defining the border color as a whole with one color, and then I'm defining individual pieces with another color. So you always want to set up things that way. I have my border left width set as thick, that's why it's thicker than the rest of them. Um, background color cyan, and again, this is really gaudy, and I know that it's done on purpose just to show you a whole bunch of different features. You can see I defined my margin right as 250 pixels. That's why the box here is closer than this box, which goes all the way to the edge. It's because I didn't define a margin on that. So you can see that. And then you can also see that I defined my padding uh, to be 300 pixels. And here's maybe a cleaner sort of layout and design. You can see here there's a lot more space so that people can see this wonderful image up here. And why is that? It's because I defined my padding bottom at 100 pixels. So that's why everything lays in there that way. And here I defined my background color using a hexadecimal code. You can find hexadecimal codes for all sorts of colors by just simply typing in wiki web colors um, into a Google browser and it'll give you these hex codes. Well, that's pretty much it. That is box designs and cascading style sheets. In the next presentation, I'm gonna completely cover everything in regards to layout in cascading style sheets, and then you will know every single property and every single way to style things with cascading style sheets. If you have any questions, leave comments below. Till next time.